let's get started. Let's do Shift A to adding a plane real quick or adding a cube. Let's do that. So now we're in the front view. So go to the side view. Uh, I'm going to hit S Y just kind of get this thing really flat and then do that R rotate it 90 degrees holding control key so now I'm good control A to apply the scale so everything so now it should be good so what we need to do next I'm going to cutting some loop cut then hitting tab key go to the edit mode control R to adding some loop cut so it should be good. Control R, a couple more. That'd be good. And then so we have kind of like a, a very flat a cube right here. And then what I need to do here, hit number three to select the face selection mode. I'm just going to select some faces. Okay. And then hit B to deselect. So basically, this is the part I'm going to extrude. So go to the front view, hit E key and Z, just to kind of giving some volume to extrude it out. Okay, so now if without adding any bevels to secure the, the sharp edges, then if we're gonna do uh, subsurface modifier, it, this entire thing's gonna be destroyed. So we can see this uh, real quick. Control 2 to do this. So this is something that we absolutely don't want. We basically just trying to having the this shape but looks less sharp because in the real reality, this is way too sharp. This is not real. So what we can do here, we're gonna temporarily disable the subsurface modifier and then we can go to the edit mode. Hit tab, go to the edit mode. And we wanna make sure we select all these edges and uh, in order to do a quick bevel. So you can do hit number two to do this edge selection mode, click one by one holding shift, you can do so. And while you can holding shift and uh, control click by that. But that's is going to be very time consuming and uh, take quite a wee while. And sometimes you can see it's not that easy to uh, select the red edges that you want. So what we need to do next is a better way to do this is going to the selection and come down here to select sharp edges. So if you did this, and while making sure you're in the uh, edge selection mode, so that can select properly. So you can see here, it has automatically select all the sharp edges that we want to have a bevel, right? So then next, what we need to do here is going to use Control B to bevel and to drag your mouth and the click i know it's not perfect but we can always edit the bevel go back to the left corner there was a uh, window so we want to making sure our segment at least two segment and also the shape i want to have all the way to the one so if you go all the way to one it's going to maintain the original shape if you go to the half 0.5 is going to kind of make it a little bit curved so i want to have all the way to one and then one last thing I want to do is to change the meter order to the arc. So now this looks perfect. Okay. So then double check everything's good. So click and tap it out and go to the vertices selection mode. And I'm going to select all these to making sure this ngong to become two quads. Uh, hit J to join that. It's a really quick and easy job to do. Hit J to join that. J. Yeah, that is the only thing you need to fix after you do the bevel using my method. So this is, works very well. And uh, do that. Hit J to join it. And the double check, is there anything here? Yeah, we have another ungong here. Okay, so like that, hit J. Same thing here, hit J. I think that's everything we need to do in order to fix the topology. So another thing you can do is to check your topology, go to select, and then you can go with the select by trade. And so you can actually just do the faces by size. Click that. So if you can change that, if you go to beyond five, do you have anything selected? No. So everything is in qua. So it's a four vertices. So we are good. 
Okay, so if I'm enable subsurface modifier, it's supposed to look very nice. So go back to the object mode and do that. So you see, this is very nice. And we're gonna right click, shade smooth. And beautifully done. And this is a very nice gadget that you can use for a model or a particular uh, shape. So now this is the right way to using the bevel, okay? So now we're going to do another really similar one. So we're going to do a shift A this time. I'm going to adding a cube one more time. And then we're going to hit S and Z to kind of make it flat. And then go to the top view. And then I'm going to hit Control A to apply scale. And then what I will do here, I'm going to adding some loop cut. Edit mode, Control R to adding some loop cut. Here, a couple more. It should be good and then next i'm going to making sure i'm cutting part of the geometry out so i'm going to select hit number three select these two and uh, just getting that these faces to delete it hit x to delete face now if we go to the vertices selection mode you will see this is some part it's wide open so i'm going to fill it up select these four vertices hit f key to fill it next i'm going to only select these two or basically this is one single edge and hit f i'll just continue to do that it will automatically fill okay so this is one thing we can get it done and then next i'm going to adding some geometry around this cut instead of earlier the one we we did it uh, so this time do this hit number three to select all these faces Okay, and then I'm going to go to the front view, hit E and Z to adding some volume, just drag it up. So now this is kind of the shape that we eventually want to have. So we're not making sure we can maintain this properly. We want to make sure all these edges are stay remain sharp and uh, after we apply subsurface modifier. Okay, so what we need to do and the trick is to go to the select and the select sharp edges. So now the reason we're not really working because we're in the face selection mode. So I need to hit number two to go to the edge selection mode and uh, do it one more time. Select and uh, go back to the sharp edges. And then now you can see we select all the sharp edges. And this is pretty easy, right? And save a lot of time to do that manually one by one. And then control B to bevel it and left click because earlier we have used the bevel operation all these settings are already saved so we don't need to do too much over here so all we need to do here we're probably just gonna making sure the bevel is not that much so that should be good and then we're gonna click it and tap it out and go to the vertice selection mode now the best way is to find the faces that you need to fix just like these hit j and to do getting these done. And sometimes if you're dealing with some geometries a little bit more complicated, you probably wouldn't be able to find it that easily. So what you need to do here, another trick is go to the select and uh, go back the select all by trade. So we can do the face by the size and we can just change the type. It's not only equal to, we can just do the greater so we wanted to know what is ngong where's ngong at so you can see setting four vertices anything is greater than four vertices that means ngong right so it's actually showing you which faces need to be deal with so we're just going to do it one by one okay hit j select these two hit j and pretty easy j And once you get used to this type of uh, thinking or the way of doing bevel, everything has become much easier and become second nature to you. So if I did that, so let's double check, select, select by trade and face and greater than four. Yeah, we don't have any more ingong. So we are all good now. So now go to the object mode and adding a subsurface modifier, go here. And let's do a subserve, do two. And now you can see 
it's beautiful we'll have really nice and then select that right click shade smooth beautiful so before after very subtle but uh it's going to be very nice visually pleasing when you're having this kind of subsurface modifier apply on and definitely because the shape has been perfectly um, built and you can definitely change the shape everything accordingly so if i'm going to select these these are just going to be some uh, gadget that you can use you can even just building the scene with it and to helping you to duplicate several of these in all these shapes are really edible so you can just change the portion on the bottom part of do whatever you need to getting there they're done okay so so that's all on your later so these are just the two good examples of how to modeling these using proper topology Okay, this is everything I want to share in this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.